Thanks for joining. This demonstration will show you how to set up a new event-based schedule, which will be triggered off by an unread email. CRD will read the email, and if the conditions are met, fire off a specified report where the parameters of the report will be specified in the unread email. So first we'll select event-based schedule, and it'll bring up a wizard where you can easily create the schedule. Select the particular folder where you want the schedule to be stored, and then name the schedule. Describe it, and then add keywords if necessary. Click Next. Next, you have to establish the condition. This is what we're going to be monitoring for in order to justify the export of the schedule. If you select All, then all of the criteria that you have established will have to be met in order for the schedule to be triggered. If you select any, then any of the criteria that you've created will need, can be met in order for the schedule to be activated. If you click Add, you have, a, you have several different possibilities that you can choose in order to export the schedule. We're going to select Unread Email. Now we have to authenticate to the particular mail server that we wish to monitor. Name it first. And then you determine whether you want it to be true or false. If it's false, that means if no email has arrived, then execute the schedule. If it's true, that means an email will need to be present in order to in order for the schedule to execute. You'll authenticate to the server. And then test it. You'll know it's a successful test when the green arrow is now selectable. You can also determine how often do you want it to pull the mailbox in terms of minutes. Next, you select the inbox that you wish to monitor for. Click Next. Now you have to decide the selection criteria for the email. Again, you can decide whether it can meet any or all of the following criteria. You can have it match exact phrasing if necessary. And this means it will have to match uppercase and lowercase, and even spaces in between. You then have your pick of the criteria from which you can justify what the email will go for. In this case, I'll say that this report request can only be requested by a specific person. Press the green arrow to add the criteria. The criteria. This now means that the schedule will only execute if something, if a request comes from Rob. You can add, you can keep adding more criteria if necessary. Next, you can decide what will be done with the email once it has arrived. You can forward the email to another inbox, redirect the email, take the attachments and save them to a particular directory, or remove the email altogether. Click Next. Now that you've established the condition, you can click OK. You can add any additional conditions if needed. Once you're happy with all the conditions that you have, click Next. The event-based schedule gives you three options that you can do based on the arrival of this email. We can do no task at all, nothing at all, in other words, make a custom task happen. We can execute a schedule that already exists or do a new report altogether. In this particular case, we want to do new <clears throat> new report. We're now going to add the reports that we want to run. Click Add, and you simply select a particular crystal report that needs to be run. Next, we want the schedule to run for particular parameters that were specified in the email. Using an event-based insert, we can make this happen. 
If, say, in the email, it was specified the name of the company or any other parameter values within the body, we can create a custom insert. By selecting custom, you would select the particular, you can mention what the name of the field is in your email body. In my case, in the body of my email, it would be company name. Now that you've established that would be your insert constant, drag that into the parameter field that you want. So now what will happen, the event-based schedule will pull from the body of your email the name of the particular company or whatever parameter values you specified in your email. As per usual, you can authenticate to the database for the running of the report if necessary. And you can even use exception handling to check to see if the report's blank. Lastly, you'll need to add the destination of this email and the report. We want this report to go back to the person who received it, who, re who requested the report. So we'll select email. And then we'll use, once again, the event-based constant to get the email address that requested the report. Simply drag it to the to field and it shows up there. You can add a subject line if necessary. Use the custom inserts to do any number of things based off of the body of your, in, of your email. Once you're satisfied with your email, click OK. You can also decide the format of the email that you want to support. Make sure you select a particular format of the report as well. Once you're happy with the report you selected and you have all of the selection criteria and the parameters running for the ones that you want, simply click OK. You can add as many reports as you want until you're finished. Click Next. Like all event-based schedules, you can determine your exception handling. If there's an error, how many times will the schedule retry? And you can even set up custom hours of operation in which the schedule will only monitor for new emails during a particular time frame. Click Next. And lastly, you can run any number of custom tasks at the end of this. For example, you can send another email to an administrator notifying them that someone's requested a report. Once you're satisfied with the schedule, click Next. And then you can decide whether you can run custom tasks first or run a schedule first or any number of execution flow. Click Finish. Now if I check my demo schedules folder, if I right click on it, I can execute it on demand by right clicking and going to execute. I can disable the schedule so it will no longer monitor that inbox. Or if I click on the properties, I can make any changes to the schedule I need. So now we've just set up an event based schedule that will monitor for an unread email and as a result deliver a customized report back to the requester. Thank you very much for joining.